This is Ethan with the Sawtooth Avalanche Center. We're at about 9,500 feet in the Boulder Mountains on a southwest aspect. You notice that there's some wind loading here on this shoulder, middle elevation train, and it's deposited this soft slab above a weaker crust interface that we're about to test here. Okay, it's called a propagation saw test. I moved the saw only a portion of the way through this weak layer and then it collapsed down on top of it and shot the crack all the way to the end of the block. So what you should see now is this slab completely disconnected from the weak layer underneath. Okay, so I just want to show you guys a quick test. You don't have to do a more formal test like we showed in the last clip. You can simply just trench out a little uh, spot with your skis or you can also use where your sled track is dug into the snow. Make sure it's deep enough to isolate the weak layer that you're looking for. I know that that weak layer is there because I've been monitoring it by sticking my pole into the snow, feeling that crunch when I hit the crust so I know about how deep it is. Just take your ski pole and isolate a small block. Once you're sure that the block is isolated, you can just put your hand behind and give it a little bit of a pull. I barely pulled right there. And that same storm slab that was deposited by the wind over here that we saw in the last test shows up on this easier test a lot faster. You can see that it's a nice, clean, planar surface. We've been finding this layer primarily in uh, south facing slopes, southwest, south, and southeast uh, in this zone. And if you're out recreating, you can just dig a quick hole just like I did, monitor that layer, look for the crust, and a simple test like this can tell you how well it's bonded to it.